And people always quote force equals mass times acceleration, and it is. But what kind of force are we after? You know, impact is different to impulse. Impulse is when you apply force over a period of time. Throwing the ball is impulse. And I'll finally let go of it. But all that position there, that's generating the impulse, and I'll let go of it. The ball hitting a baseball bat is impact. It's a, a flash of energy concentrated in one spot. So most people, when they see impulse, yeah, you're the man. Mm -hmm. Hold that in your chest. No, like a man. Side to side. There you go. Fight. The top and bottom like that. Hold it like that. Put it against your chest. <laughs> if you don't put it against your chest, it'll hurt even more. Most people look at impulse as being the uh, highest expression of power. So when they hit, they send the man back. There we go. Amazing. Did it hurt? No. No. Doesn't. You know why? Because 100% of the power I generated was absorbed by 100% of this guy. You know why I know that? Because 100% of it went backwards. Pretty simple. So in reality, do the maths, that's a one for one force effect ratio. If I don't make it move backwards, how do you feel? Much worse. Yeah? Yeah. Now, most people watch you go, no, I prefer the first one, it looks great. Yeah? Ask him, <laughs> don't be back again, please, yeah? Now, even if I didn't put as much power in that, which I didn't, I didn't need to, all right? Only about 5% of it, maybe, rough figures, absorbed the energy. So if I only used half the power, 50% to 5 gives you a 10 to 1 force to effect ratio, or 1, 1 to 10, sorry, force to effect ratio, which is better than a 1 for 1. I want fucking 10 times the power in there. Yeah? So I want to hit and be back good to go for the second shot. Rather than hit and have a little Kodak moment. Okay? Because <laughs> tactically, it's no good. Leaving yourself overextended. Spending too long on the target, it changes the force from impact to impulse. Does that make any sense to anybody? Yeah? How do you think? How do you feel that? Now I've used a fist there because look, I'm hitting a flat surface which is similar to the body shot. To the head of the same, I use a palm mount. If we have like a medicine ball, I use a palm mount. You know, anybody ever says, oh I like my fists? I say, well what do you train on? Punch back? Well, of course you do. Get a bowling ball, put it in a fucking sack, hang it up. I can guarantee you use your fucking palms on that basket. <laughs> there you go. But I'll say to anybody, I wouldn't force you. I'm no fucking fist Nazi, you know what I mean? Palm Nazi, use what you want. It's not my hand. You know what I mean? Unless you're my fucking backup guy, and then if you break your fucking hand and can't help me, then I'll break the fucking other one when we get back to the station. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright? That's the way I look at it. People make their own choices. Can you see the difference then between that impulse and impact? Now I, can, I do a lot of training on it, I do a lot of teaching on this, all under the exercises for it. Even now we're looking at things that when you make contact, you need to have things like, you need to get this kind of position where your elbows in a closed chain position, so it's your shoulder, rather than most people get to here, they ruin themselves. Who's ever done bench pressing here? Anybody? You always fail there. You need spotting to about there. Now, boom, you can slam it out hard. Why is that? Because look at, look at the position. My bones now are helping each other out. They're directly pushing on each other. Here, my elbow is now held together with muscle and tendon and ligament. Right? That's why sometimes you throw it too close to a punch, you throw it, you feel every single muscle engage. It should be that way, it should be. But look, that power without effort. Yeah? I'm not even making a fist on that. Power without effort rather than that <coughs> bust the gut. Add the muscle to the mechanics. Yeah? Mechanics are the baseline, so no matter how tired, how fatigued, how stressed, scared, whatever, you've still got something left. You've still got body weight, you've still got leverage. All right, and muscle is the icing on the cake. Unfortunately, most guys, it's for everything, isn't it? Until they get tired. The best way to develop good mechanics is to get absolutely fatigued. I do courses where we, you know, we get guys who do push-ups to failure. There's nothing left in the arm at all, you know? So several times, push-ups to failure, so that every single reserve of chemical strength that the muscles have got is gone. You know, the muscles have been worked all the way through. Now you're getting hit in the pads. You'll see a lot of this. 
perfect kinetic chain. It, they've got it. <laughs> to start with, it'd be all, all on. After a while, when they're tired, you see people throwing the shots. They're learning the better shot, to be quite honest. They can do when they're tired, add the muscle to it, superb, the bonus. Any question on impact and impulse?